Hello everyone, I hope you're doing so well and welcome to this little video all about the oil paintings that I'm working on at the moment. Also thank you so much for your amazing comments on my last video and don't forget to subscribe. Also at the end of this video there will be a little funny question and answers. I was planning to do like five films, five movie reviews of movies that I'd seen on Amazon Prime but I haven't actually reached the five yet <laughs> so I thought I'd wait until I've actually watched five films and then I will give my review. The first painting I thought I'd show you is of this frog that I actually have shown before on my channel but I've worked on a bit more and I mentioned uh, in a previous video that I couldn't work out what to put in the frog's hand because this is a very uh, kind of ponderous frog and he's sitting on a riverbank and he's holding something and so I would painted it that far and I decided to actually give this frog a clock, a pocket watch because he's obsessed with time and timekeeping. This is a timekeeping frog and I do hope you like it, he's looking very disapproving of people who don't keep time. And this is of a girl in a forest who has made a friend with a bear. <laughs> I'm actually absolutely terrified of bears and sometimes when I see videos of people hugging bears and um, making friends with the bears as they always seem to be on social media <laughs> at some point, um, I feel genuinely frightened but they're so cuddly looking. I think, oh, bears are cool, but they are obviously very dangerous and you should not become friends with bears. But in this, obviously this is a fantasy painting, so I get to show bears in a nice light, I guess. Um, but yeah, I genuinely am having so much fun with this composition and I will show you more progress on it very soon. Finally, we have this bunny rabbit, a really cool, relaxed bunny rabbit, just an updated work in progress. This bunny rabbit is a secret rabbit in the secret forest doing secret things basically drinking tea because if it was you know if it was a bunny rabbit if I was a bunny rabbit uh, that's exactly what I would be doing I would be I would be trying to find the nearest tea bag supplier and I would be <laughs> drinking tea so yes this is a very British bunny and um, it's taking a much needed rest time. Now onto the funny, fun question and answers. Let's hope they are fun and exciting. Okay, so here we go. The first question is, what is the biggest fashion disaster you have ever made? I have made loads of fashion disasters, but one thing that stands out in particular, and this isn't exactly a fashion mistake, but it is a big hair fail. That is, years ago, I made the biggest mistake of getting a perm. <laughs> And I'm sure you're thinking, why on earth would you do that? Well, what happened was I needed to get my hair done and I happened to be looking for a hairdresser and I came across this advert which said, perms back in fashion, which wasn't even really the case. I think they were briefly, for a very brief period of time. And it said, get your perm here for free. <laughs> and so I was a broke student. I thought, you know what? I could get my hair done and it would be permanent curls because my hair is in fact naturally wavy. I do straighten it these days but I used to curl it so that was something that I did regularly. I thought I could save time if I had permanent curls. Now of course perms are not really permanent curls, they're sort of like a frizzy mess. So I booked my appointment and it took about five hours and I was thinking oh it probably won't look that different. Yes it did look absolutely hysterical, bad, tragic, all those types of words. So <laughs> pretty much everyone I knew was laughing at me, making jokes about my hair for ages and ages. The absolute worst thing about the perm, not only the fact that it was, it, my hair was like gigantic <laughs> and it didn't suit me at all, it just, I just had gigantic frizzy hair basically, um, was that the worst thing was that when it rained, my, my hair would actually double in size and it would release this some kind of toxic chemical smell. Basically when the, it rained, my hair would become even more ginormous and my hair would stink of chemicals. It was not an attractive look, it was not an attractive vibe and I think at some point when my hair started to grow out I actually cut out the permed bits. Next question, is it possible to hear someone's iPod while they're running at maximum speed? I don't think so. I don't think I've ever heard anyone's iPod. I don't think I've ever heard what they're 
listening to, I just hear like bzzz sound, like a mosquito or something, but I can never actually uh, identify the song. I did yesterday hear someone's phone on the train, uh, their ringtone, and it was Danger Zone, and I just thought that was the coolest thing ever, and I had that song in my head all day. How would you be able to solve problems if you were from Mars? Well, I think if I was from Mars, I wouldn't bother solving people's problems. I would just let them solve them themselves. I mean, I don't think we should expect aliens to come here and solve our problems. I think it's too high an expectation. Next question, have you ever lied to a priest, preacher or holy man? No, but I actually know of two people on two separate occasions who have been robbed by a man dressed as a priest. <laughs> And I was actually robbed by a man dressed as someone who worked for the train station. <laughs> it was a really sad story. He stole my phone. It was a long time ago. I was very young. Next question. Have you ever dropped food on the floor and then picked it up to eat it? I have never done that. However, I know of someone and they were totally like unbothered about it. They dropped a donut on the floor and then picked it up and ate it. <laughs> And the thing is, what really freaked me out about that is that it was a jam donut and you know how that has sugar on the outside and it can like attract dust and things? Next question, have you ever had to run from or avoid the police? The only time in my life where I've ever had this type of thing happen, and I haven't run from the police or anything, but once when I was at uni, um, I was with a bunch of friends and we were taking a cab home never take dodgy cabs guys um, and I knew this but for some reason because I was with a big group and they were all very confident all girls uh, they were like oh we'll get the cab and everything we got into this dodgy cab dear oh dear um, and the guy was like he seemed all right he just said you know you want to go to your uni halls he knew where it was it was about 20 minutes away from the club we were at so and all of a sudden there was a siren and he looked in the rear view mirror and we all turned around and we were like it's the police and he had to he started to pull over and so he turned to my friend who was sitting next to him and he said don't tell them don't tell the police that I'm a taxi driver and so she was like okay fine we won't I don't know why she she said that I don't know why we went along with it we never we never met this guy before, we did not know him. So the police came to the window and he said, hello, do you know this guy? And so my friend said, yeah, he's our friend. And I was thinking to myself, why are we saying this guy is our friend? Like we can just say who he really is. Um, but anyway, the policeman turned to us and we just sat there like, what do we say? So we just sat there in silence. And he was like, oh, okay then, um, maybe you guys should get out of the car and start walking in a minute. And all of a sudden, they, the guy's head slammed against the window and they were like um, handcuffing him. And they had opened the boot and they were lifting out all these guns from his boot. <laughs> I kid you not, it was the scariest, weirdest experience. And we literally just got out of the car and all started walking back to our halls, which were about to five minutes away from there. But that was really bizarre and I have no idea why um, we didn't tell the truth. Next question, would you rather eat food that you know will make you sick to keep from offending someone or offend them and lose out on a possible lucrative deal? <laughs> well, I, well, I would love to know what the lucrative deal was. Okay, last two questions. What is the worst gift you have ever received? I once received, someone once gave me a dictionary <laughs> with their name inside it, like used gift. And finally, last question, because my battery is about to run out. What a travesty and sad situation. What is a board game that always ends up having sore losers? For me personally, in my experience, Monopoly, absolutely number one. I've seen people throw things, insult each other, swear at each other, <laughs> say the worst possible things you can imagine. And all because of monopoly and not having enough hotels and not landing on Park Lane and Mayfair. <laughs>